We should be live. Hey. Hello. All right, let me refresh this. Hopefully all of this works and it doesn't crash and burn at any point. Uh, you said it. Okay, so we are live, Colin. What are we playing? Uh, Resident Evil. The sixth one. Oh. I've heard of, I've heard of these indie games. Yeah. So here's what we're doing. And hopefully all of this works. This is the first time we're trying it. So bear with us. Uh, we're, we are going to export these to YouTube. So if you are watching this live, hello. I'll have the chat open. If not, uh, I am Curtis. I'm joined by Colin. Hey. So we're, uh, we're discording you in. Not Skyping anymore. Uh, so... What do you mean we're not in the same room? No. So... Your voice is coming in through OBS, through the power of the internet. Hopefully, that works. Um, I think I got the levels okay, so that they should work. I'm just going to start it, because I think we got to complete a uh, a tutorial section before we can get into co-op. So we're going to do that really quick. But here's how this... Basically, this is how this started out. Um, Colin, your, your history with Resident Evil... Uh, I would say you're more... Or not really history wise, but you you are more of a a bigger fan of RE4 uh, than you uh, yeah, yes. than you are of Resident Evil One, Two, or Three, right? The Resident Evil games that I've completed are Two, Four, Five, and Six. Okay. And Operation Raccoon City. So I'm not too okay, but you you seem you're more of like you're more of a fan of where the series has gone. Maybe not Six. I know Four is like your favorite yeah. game. Okay. Um, but I would say four is absolutely my, my favorite, my favorite game of all time. Okay, and uh, and so I'm the opposite. Uh, where I I mean I like four. I've not played five or six up until now. Uh, one, two, and three I much prefer, and then one and two are just like to me are another level. Um, so this this whole thing started uh, when we found out they were putting out four, five, and six on PS4. And I had always wanted to play 5, so I suggested to you, hey, we should co-op 5 when that game comes out. And you said... Yeah, you an ultimatum. Yeah. Hey, Curtis. Yeah. I'll play 5 with you, but can you co-op Resident Evil 6 with me? Yeah, and somehow I, I agreed to that. Um, <laughs> so I'm giving 6 a chance. I had always kind of stayed away from it. Not really too much of an interest in it, but I'm curious enough to check it out and give it a real like legitimate shot um going in with very low expectations and we're gonna co-op through this game uh so i think we're planning on you know a couple hours maybe a little more than two hours some weeks um hopefully a couple times a week to stream this and we're just gonna go through we're starting out with chris but i, I assume we won't get there till after this little opening sequence But I figure we'll, uh, well, you know, we'll chat about whatever, whatever comes comes to mind, whatever topic we can think of. We got some. There's an attack right now on a, on a city, Colin. Yep. I don't know. There's a helicopter. Probably. Oh, here we go. I'm playing. That would be something. That would be definitely a de departure from from Resident Evil. So, okay. Um, you know... Yeah. So I, you know... I like 4. Resident Evil 4 is a good game. I understand, like, why it's regarded in the way that it is. Like, as, like, so highly regarded. But to me, it was, uh... It was the beginning of, of a direction for Resident Evil that I wasn't too excited for. Um, and and that whole thing is weird too because I came to the series long after. You know, it's only been three or four years ago now at this point. 
that I even started playing these games, and I played them in one, two, three, four within a couple weeks of each other. And and so that was it was kind of a weird thing because like I knew going in the direction this series took, <laughs> like I knew. Um, and and four was uh you know it was it was really good, but it wasn't Resident Evil to me, or the re or wasn't the Resident Evil that I want. So here we are. Um, we both hold a kind of relatively different position on this franchise, I would say. Now, did you ever play uh, Revelations 2 last year? Right. So, Revelations 2, uh, in my mind, is just incredible. It's so good. Oh, I just ma completely failed that. Lots of QTEs. It's okay. You know, we're going out with a fresh, fresh mind. No preconceived notions. We're gonna have a good time. But, you know... We'll be okay. We can we can do it. So we got this tutorial. We got the three campaigns: Chris and whoever Leon and whatever this girl's name is. No, Chris and who? Chris and whatever other person he's paired with. Yeah. Okay. Yes. Like yeah, yeah, yeah. Like newer... And then there's like Jake. And Jake from State Farm. Yeah. Which, uh, Let's take a break. With, um, is it one of the um, one of the Birkin kids? I think. Okay. Very Birkin. Okay. I think something like that. So there's something you should know about me. There's got to uh, be a first aid kid in here somewhere. Barry. Barry. We're talking Resident Evil in general. Barry is my... He's my go-to. He's the best character in this series. Barry Burton. So I'm just going to walk around, I guess. Um, I like Leon a lot. I, I think Leon's cool. Um, Jill, of course. No-brainer. Claire. Um, I actually liked Moira... A lot more than I thought I would after Revelations 2. Leon, are you there? All of the weird things she said. Oh, sure. Yeah, oh, yeah, obviously. Mm -hmm. There is such a rich backstory uh, to him. Open item slots. Oh, look at this little. Look at this menu. Sure, it uh, looks neat. Looks cool. <laughs> Place in tablet case, okay. Close. It's a nice, nice little HUD going on. Too many good agents have died here today. You're not getting added to that list. Oh, here we go. Here's our first th zombie. So we're at this like weird point with Resident Evil where you know you're coming off six and it's not really not to say there weren't people that liked it because I definitely saw people who kind of came to its defense um, when the reviews hit and, and things got real messy uh, but you know it's certainly you know Resident Evil is in a weird spot right now and uh, in a way like Revelations 2 last year I think helped a lot because it it definitely, you know, it. I I felt like story wise and, and character wise and and the way that it was. Uh, the way it played out was it felt like it was kind of harkening back to a an older Resident Evil era, and it felt like there was an understanding of what people like about Resident Evil. 
And it certainly wasn't, um, it wasn't like completely back to Resident Evil 1, but it was a, a pretty nice middle ground, I felt. Uh, and so now, we're, I mean, we're in a point where like, this is a big anniversary year for Resident Evil. You gotta think that uh, Resident Evil 7 is probably not far off, at least from being announced. I'm also going to turn on subtitles at some point. Can I just pause in the middle of a cutscene and turn these on? Ready to wait. Do you remember? Okay. Thanks, Jose. But Curtis, you're obviously forgetting the big news. Uh-huh. Am I, though? <laughs> yes, you are. That's obviously Umbrella Core. Display subtitles. Here we go. Oh, they are on. Weird. They weren't showing up in that scene. Uh, Umbrella Core is, yeah, you know. You take a step forward, step back. Two steps forward with Revelations 2, I'd say. Yeah, you know, it, I, I feel like this... Go ahead. It said they were on. No, it wasn't even... It was already checked. I mean, I'll go check again, because they weren't showing up. Look at this. Yeah, when I looked on the right, it said off. Yeah. We'll check it. Oh, I'll, I'll check again. Oh, that's. Here we go. Uh, settings. I think it's in their game settings. It's not even let me select it, any of them. Yeah, so you have to like go on the left, or it's a place for the power for the game. You have to like have the blue cursor on the left. Where it says turn the subtitles on. Yeah. Like that's a check mark. Yeah. I see. Okay. That is. Okay. Colin. Yeah, that was confusing me too. We just hop on over. Getting off to a great start. Oh, look at this. Okay. So, how do you, okay, where do you stand on the uh, the move and shoot? Mm -hmm. Oh, sure. This little quick shot's pretty cool. Uh, you know, and, and I should say with 4, like, 4 is great, like, gameplay-wise. I think my issue with 4 is mostly that there's not really that horror element, you know, to it. Um, and I think my dog would probably agree with that. <laughs> look at the lightning hawk. Oh, look at that. I should probably not waste any of those. Alright. We're just working our way through. I'll kick this guy. Oh, look at this. There's a big plane. Or, sort of. I just need to hold X or tap it. I think, I think, yeah, I think hold's working. Yeah, this is, um... Over here. Get in. 
You know, see, this is the other thing is like, we gotta find reasons to like this. You know, we gotta like find the good in this. Yeah. <laughs> yes. <laughs> I think Leon's, I mean, other than Barry, of course, uh, Barry's just a god. Uh, Leon's, like, you know, I'd say probably the more likable of the male protagonist. I mean, Wesker's, you know, he's up there. Right. So this comes with everything, basically, right? Okay. Mm -hmm. So, okay, so we got three campaigns. Um, do they, are, are they things that we're just gonna play them one by one? Or do they, do we switch back and forth? Doing so good. Yeah. Um. Okay. Yeah. Okay. There, yeah, so that's the Ada campaign, right? And is that's not co-op? Okay. Okay. What we'll do for that, I mean, we'll still do that, and I think we'll still have both of us. Right? So we'll still, like, you know, just chat about whatever. This is quite the intro. Yeah. It's still, you know, it's not a bad looking game by any means. Yeah, I, I don't think so at all either, yeah. I mean, I, I just think it's kind of... I thought the game looked really good on PS3. Oh, sure. And it's, I mean, at this point, this game came out 2012, I believe. I think you're right. So it's, you know, three and a half years old at this point. It's, it's not bad. Sure, it's spruced up a little bit for this version. This reminds me a lot of an area in Revelations 2. If you remember the area I'm talking about. I'm thinking, but I don't. There's a point in Revelations 2 without being... Uh, without spoiling anything, it's a pretty big open like arena kind of area like this. There's, there's a boss fight or two. Back for more. Oh, I know, yeah, I know. Alright, so I guess that's probably the intro. So we're gonna start with Chris. So it's Chris and uh, some new guy. Pierce? Okay. And now Chris. So the three of them. Okay. And so the three of them have a different. a little bit of a different kind of play style to them. A little bit, right? Pretty much all action. Uh, you have Jake's campaign, which is going to be kind of a mixture of uh, like a little bit of survival horror and like a little bit of action. Okay. Uh, but then you have uh, Leon's campaign, which is maybe closer to a, like maybe closer to what survival horror is. Okay. Uh, and I use that term survival horror loosely. Yeah. Uh, in yeah. The context of this game. For sure. So we're gonna start Chris, and I, we're gonna have to try to get into some sort of co-op here. Um, are we doing normal? Uh, sure, that works for me. All right, and then screen mode single, I guess. Okay. All right, network selection: PlayStation Network, uh, partner joint, allow. Should we do private? We'll do private. Um, all regions, 
Objective setting is playing for fun. Okay. Friendly fire, don't allow. Infinite ammo, don't allow. Uh, start game. Uh, yeah, I don't think we can do the agent hunt settings. And basically, uh, what that is, is that, uh, basically what agent hunt is, is that, uh, there's a player that can, let's say, go in, like, they can actually be a monster and go in and attack you. Like, I okay. Think, I guess, basically. Like, if you want to be a zombie, you can take, like, a player, random player around. Interesting. All right. Well, I sent you an invite, so we'll get this thing started soon. And this is it. Resident Evil 6. <laughs> I, I get the feeling that the important thing for someone like me to go into this game is with the thought that, like, okay, this is not... This is more of a... I need to view this as something different than a mainline entry. In, in a series like this because it's not going to be what I want it to be but it doesn't necessarily mean that it's bad if that makes sense like it, it, it's oftentimes you'll hear people like oh it's a good game but it's not a good blank game right um so I think that's probably going to be an important thing going forward as we play through this game for me uh this being my first time through look at that look at that food Dude, like Final Fantasy 15 is gonna have some good-looking food. And that is Hard to find a good steak around here. Final Fantasy. <laughs> oh, just wait. <laughs> oh, Colin, the next six months is gonna be great. I tell you what, though, too, is I'm getting kind of excited. Be excited. I'm getting kind of excited. You should be. I don't care about Final Fantasy. But Fill her up. You've had enough. <laughs> Chris, you've had enough. <laughs> Or is that Pierce? Probably Pierce. That's what I thought. But that guy didn't... He doesn't... I guess he kind of looks like Chris. Chris has changed a lot over the years. He's not as big and bulky as he is, I think. In yeah, in 5, it was something else. Which I didn't really mind. Like, I mean, again, you know, we'll we'll be we'll probably do the same thing for five when that comes out. I think in the summer, right? Um, so we'll probably do the same thing for that because I really wanted to play five, especially the DLC. Um, I didn't really mind his look in five. Like, I I knew it was kind of like over exaggerated, but it it seemed fine. It was like whatever. It's a video game. Here we go. So this takes place, this is, I mean, it is the most recent mainline game, but it's also the farthest along in the timeline, right? Like, 6 is basically it. This is how everything has ended so far. Mm-hmm. Yeah. To remember, Chris. If you walk away now, then this was all for nothing. Damn it. Six months of searching for you. And this is what I find. BSAA. Mm -hmm. It's where you belong. Uh, so Chris and Sheva, everyone's Sheva, waiting. Yeah. And Resident Evil Five. That's the same organization that they work for, the BSA. Uh, which that seems to have gotten started after uh, Resident Evil Four. We're taking you back, Captain. One way or another. All right. I'll come with you. So, I mean, how how uh, how loose should we be playing with our ammo? 
here. Accept responsibility. That's the uh, only way I'll ever remember. I would say the only way I'll get my life fire, back. Just the fire. Okay. HQ to Alpha T. No change to your mission. Suppress the bioterror outbreak yeah. while proceeding to Point Ace of Spades. Okay, but maybe not as much as you would need to be. Yeah. Okay. Oh, sure. Yeah. Alright. Here we go. There you are. Oh, look at that. We'll dive in and... So this is our kind of more action-y. Of the three, right? Okay. Okay. I also picked it up, yep. Okay, awesome. That's probably a good thing. Uh, I'm pretty much gonna be the guy that lags behind at the very end because I'm looking for some kids. Alright, well we can we can both try to do that. We can go to HQ. We've encountered hostiles at Diamond Three. It's all good. HQ copy. Is that teamwork? Nice. Uh, that's just uh, running and then pressing circle. Okay. Uh, or no, not circle. Uh, L two. Oh. The BSAA has arrived on the scene. Excuse me, can I get a comment, please? Excuse me. Is this outbreak related to the situation back in the states? Is the BSAA involved there as well? Look at this. That guy's shirt. <laughs> Pretty sure it said to be or not to be. <laughs> Sorry, sorry, Colin. I was getting secrets. <laughs> All right. Oh yeah, yeah, yeah. There, yeah. Oh, I got it. Okay, that was you know Revelations two had that. Yep. Well, you know, it's the intro. We gotta start out slow. Oh. Lost Plagas. Oh, I will. Does that like count as a second That's reference? Um, so okay, so this game comes out. It 
we'll we'll call them low scores in the reviews. Uh, but it seemed pretty. I, I don't know. I it, I would imagine it was pretty divisive. I'm sure that there were high scores out there, but it, it seemed to me I seem to remember them mo it mostly being pretty low. Um, or low in comparison to what we normally expect. Uh, when did you play this right at release? Did you play it a little afterwards? Okay. So you're playing this and you're thinking, man, those guys are crazy. Uh, I don't think they're crazy. I, just, <laughs> uh, I know. I see their, I see their complaints. Yeah. I think it's as a bad a game. As okay. You know, I figured you'd be a little rusty. It looks like all that training is kicking right in. Can the chatter. Sure. Ready. Uh, but I guess. Yeah, so what's, I mean, because you, you definitely, you like four the best, but like, what's your history with one, two, and three? Okay. Okay. I mean, you beat it, but you just, there is definitely some parts. That, yeah, it's you haven't fully finished everything, but sure. Two's a pretty good game. Yeah, I really, I did like it. So we're getting these chess pieces, uh, skill points. Yeah, that's, uh, that's a thing that's always been in the Resident Evil games, uh, it's called Upgrade Trees. Oh, oh yeah, yeah. Yeah. I mean, all the way back to, uh, to Resident Evil 1. Yeah, there's, uh, there's, like, upgrade points. That's cool. That's cool to, you know, tie skill points to, like, chess pieces. Yeah. That's interesting. That's different. Don't remember if, uh, I like chess. Uh-huh. Okay. Yeah, just there is his head. It's gone. Oh, look at this. That's the coolest thing that's happened yet. That's right. Did you ever play? Uh, how much of the raid mode did you play in Revelations 2? Although apparently that's kind of based off of this game's multiplayer, right? Okay. So I got really, really into raid mode with Revelations 2. Um, now I remember reading that it was pretty similar to what's in this game. Is that kind of what this game's multiplayer is like? Or not? I don't know if multiplayer is the right word. I don't think this has raid mode. I think basically what the main thing, at least with the base game, mm -hmm. has like the most in it. Okay. Which is kind of basically like raid mode. Mm-hmm. There's something wrong with this guy's arm. And his face. And his face.
Is there a, um... Is there, like, a recommended order for the three campaigns? Or is this something that, like... As you play through all three of them, you'll see, you know, different perspectives, and you'll start to get a, big, a bigger, you know, picture of what's actually going on. And it doesn't necessarily matter. Okay. 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 Alright. Oh, that's cool. Yeah, yeah. That is cool, yeah. And that's why I think it's and it's important from everything that like over the years, the more and more I heard people talk about this game, the more and more I, I did kinda grow curious to check it out because I do think it it seems to me from what I've read that there's there are some like really interesting or cool things that they're doing in the game. Unfortunately, it's with a mainline Resident Evil game, and so the expectations were really different, you know, and 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 maybe in a way unfair for what this game is. Oh, I'm gonna need your help. You just take your time. Oh, never mind. Okay. I'll just start picking this stuff up. All right. Yeah. Oh, sure. Got it. Serpent emblems. So we're gonna platinum this, right? I never, I didn't look at the list, so I don't really know what all it entails, but... Okay. It's probably, I would imagine, probably the same. Or very similar, at least. Uh, getting the Platinum on the Resident Evil Remake on PS4 last year was a whole lot of fun. Oh, yeah. uh, it did require seven, like something like seven playthroughs out of me, but I had a great time doing it. Oh no, it's no, you can, once you know what to do, I was speed running that game on, I was live streaming speed runs and finishing it in like two and a half hours, yeah. Oh, it was fantastic. Uh, that is, in my mind, one of the best games ever made. So, I'm more than happy to play through that game many, many times. I 
I know you were looking at getting the Origins collections. Did you ever play the remake? Yeah. Uh, I have not played the remake, nor have I played Resident Evil Zero. Okay. So that definitely would have been, uh, it's definitely a collection that's on my radar to pick up. I mean, I say it's, wor it's worth it just for the first remake. Uh, Zero is fine. I don't really, I don't know. I, it's, not, it's the one that I'm not really too keen on, like, replaying. But the first remake, I just, I think it's the best Resident Evil. Um, I think it's one of the best games ever made. It's just, it's perfect. <laughs> so. <laughs> Saving. Mm-hmm. <laughs> I don't know how I shot him in the head and he came flying back towards me. Well, you know. Yeah, there's there was just kind of too much other stuff to play. Oh sure. Yeah, I if I was looking for more to play, I definitely would have picked up the origins. HQ to Alpha team. That tenement building up ahead is the ace of spades. UN staff that have been taken hostage are inside. Proceed with extraction. Okay. Um, it would be two, two, one, three. Okay. It'd be the order, and then the order, like basically, my order is Resident Evil remake is the best. Resident Evil two would be next, and then one, uh, and then three. And I always feel like I, I don't know. I feel like threes, unfortunately, gets ignored a lot because you have. You have people who are like, oh, well, one and two, you know, which, of course, yeah. Then you have your people in the four camp. Um, and three is, like, awesome. Three is really, really great for many, for its own reasons. Uh, but unfortunately, like, it never really gets brought up very much. But I understand why. And that's a very specific kind of game. Even more so, like, to the Resident Evil stuff, it's, um, just the whole, like, be, you know, being chased down almost the entire game is a whole nother ball game. And it's great. It's, uh, for as much as I feel like, you know, Outlast definitely was inspired by Resident Evil 1, like, I think there's also a bit of, like, Resident Evil 3 inspiration there. Oh, no. I'll come and I'll help ya. I got you, Pierce. There's a tic tac. <laughs> what is this thing? Alright. We got him. Your name's uh, in red. Does that mean you're low on health? Yeah, I'm low on health. Okay. Oh. Oh, look at this. It's so weird because like their menus are all different. We'll figure that out later, man. <laughs> Mothra. Okay, we got our grenades. Okay. All right. Nope. <laughs> Action, bro. 
That's right. You do it. You do your thing. I guess the muscle memory saved me there. Oh, thanks. Hey, Pierce. I'm taking a little fire here. Okay. Oh. Colin, listen. <laughs> what are you doing? I don't know, man. You're almost a chill sandwich. Um, actually, I do need to take something back. I said that Resident Evil Remake was a perfect game. Um, I don't believe it has the Jill sandwich line. And so that immediately does not make it a perfect game. <laughs> All right, this time I know, I'm going to need you to. You want to turn off the nerd boy and talk to the cutter thing? Yeah, I did. the muscle memory saved me there. Yeah, what was that? I don't even know where that popped up, but whatever. I'm taking a little fire here. I saved your ass. Oh, good job there. All right. I hope so. Now there, there's more people coming. It looks like. What? What was that? What? <laughs> okay. <laughs> Reunite with your partner. Gonna need a hand here. Make your way back I'm just gonna go over the slaughter. Okay. Alright, well, I'll find my way back to you at some point. I assume it's probably a pretty linear path. Where the hell do they keep coming from? Yeah. Pierce, can I get some cover? No problem, Captain. Look at you. HQ to Bravo. Yeah, that the game. <laughs> Alpha needs to move out to Oasis Spades. Can you relieve them? Oh, I'm gonna play it. Coming in from the four hearts. On route to assist. Yeah, I'm going to Evo. Yeah. Yep. Joey. Oh, Mothra's back. Two of them. Oh, Mothra's back. Two of them. Don't worry, I got it. Hey, look, I see your name. I bet. Sup? Go to the Ace of Spades. Yeah, you do. Well, what I was thinking is... 
Well, I was thinking, like, if we ever do these streams and we go along, we can just take a break, and during the break, we can just roll that trailer. For the next five and a half months. <laughs> yeah. Just re-rolling that trailer. Just re that trailer. Yeah. We'll even include my director's cut version of it. Yeah. I was pretty happy with it. I hope like somebody at like Japan Studio is like watching that. I think the best is like knowing that knowing that like only like three people are ever gonna see that. Oh yeah. <laughs> so yeah. <laughs> As long as I made somebody laugh, I, that's all I care about. You got to it. You, you took my box kill. You made me laugh. Yeah. That's what counts. Um. So I'm like 60 uh, Nintendo coins away from getting HQ. the Red Twilight Princess P Cross. Copy that. Okay. Nice. Oh, yeah. I, I think I'm, like, I'm still, like, level one. Like, how do I not... Oh, okay, well, there's, like, okay, well, there's, it's kind of complicated, because there's the coins, right and that's not really tied to your level. Hold on, and hold out until Bravo team arrives, okay? We well, can hold out. Uh, so, you, like, the coins you unlock through Mitomo, through the My Nintendo stuff, like, logging into Miiverse, or going to the eShop, you get points. I just punched that guy to death. Um, what else is there? There's like a the, the yeah the coins that you're getting is is different from the levels in Mitomo. You level up in Mitomo by making friends and by changing your clothes. And I don't really know what it does when you level like you get like new titles when you level up. Oh, explosions. Yeah, so I don't know. What I think about what, what's gonna be great about Mitomo, like once like the initial, like launch hype dies down for me, because I've been using it like every day for a little bit. Oh, it's Mothra is again. Um, like whenever I go somewhere, like we're, if we're out, like if we're like going to like some place or you know somewhere doing something, um, like I don't know, like you go to a museum or, or something like that. I think what's gonna be great is like going into me photo. And taking pictures and just inserting your me into like the wackiest situations. I think that's where it's gonna shine, and it already has been. So that's what I'm excited about. How many of these assholes do we have to kill? Oh, I thought you were. <laughs> they were like, man, you're you're like. <laughs> no, I'm. I, I you know. It's all good. If you, if you if you need to, let's shoot this barrel here. Look at that. Oh. I'll help you out. Nice. Here's a tic tac. <laughs> sure, that'd be great. I'd be okay with that. I mean, this ammo over here. Uh, I did. It's escaping me right now. Bio-organic, yeah, I'm sure. I knew it was something like that. Get your, get your Evil lore, so. I know. I'm, I'm the guy who comes in here and is like, oh, I'm the real Resident Evil fan. <laughs> <laughs> RE6 isn't a real Resident Evil game, it's like a spin-off. <laughs> I don't even know what B.O.W. means. 
Yeah. <laughs> Zombie's not politically correct anymore. <laughs> they prefer they prefer BOWs. <laughs> it's a more it's not as hurtful to them, you know. Oh, that's bad. Oh, hey, this was a this was a map in Resident Evil Revelations too. In the in the raid mode. A lot of maps were actually from Resident Evil 6. Yeah. Right. Oh, that wall cover. Oh. And the thing is, like, you know, gameplay-wise, like, it feels good, like, you know. We're just, we're, we're doing it, we're killing it. I mean, that was the thing, like, you know, with raid mode, uh, and Revelations 2, it was like, this just... It plays really well, and it's just a lot of fun. You know, it's... I definitely prefer the, you know, the... The horror part where it's like, you know, not a, not very many enemies, but it's... You gotta be really conservative, but, but it's also like, you know, this is fine too. So are there uh, specific points where we're going to stop and be like, okay, let's use our skill points now and... Yeah, well, actually, I don't know if we can do it right now. Okay. Okay. From what I remember, I think we're pretty close. Yeah, I was going to say, we've been going for a while. how we do it. I do like that it's just there for both of us to grab. Because it doesn't, doesn't 5, isn't that more focused on, um, like sharing resources? I don't know. Well, not a big deal. I know I'm getting all sorts of skill points. Look at this guy. Doesn't even know. Right. Go, Joe. Yeah, you get platinum on that. Oh, oh, Curtis. Oh, you just. Yeah. <laughs> oh, they're doing everything else. They're so busy. They're doing everything. They're Ninja Turtles. Making. Look at this. Making near games. Yeah. Snake Eyes. Yeah. One of, um. Yeah. One of the great. Memories I have, like GI Joe, I watched when I was a kid. And I I've reached a point where I don't really remember a lot of it. Um, let me know when you're ready. Oh, we got more stuff here. Uh, but one of the, the thing I remember the most about GI Joe, and this is crazy, is right before I think the first GI Joe movie came out a couple years back. 
we were, uh, some friends and I, we were on IMDb, you know, Internet Movie Database. And we were, <laughs> we were just reading up on it. And there was like a, uh, oh my god, there was a thread that some guy made, and the title was Snake Eyes is the Boba Fett of the G.I. Joe universe. And for some reason, my friends and I, we just lost it. We just thought that was like the funniest thing we've ever read. And that became a bit of a meme for a long time. I think we're just chasing this thing down, huh? It's too fast for us. Got him. There's more. Yeah. Yep. Yeah, there's a there's one person that you can help out. You can choose to. You don't have to. The game has the best level design. It is so good. Yes. Well, that's the reason why I want to play Resident Evil 5. Oh, really? <laughs> yeah. Yeah. Yep, I... Uh-huh. So where do I go to combine herbs, or can I? Aha! Okay. Yep. And then when I store it in the case... Aha. Do I just have to keep pressing it? Yeah, yeah. Okay. All the tic tacs. You're probably right. you Copy that. All right back floor. down I think I got him I'm already on the the first floor we're getting close I'll wait for you. Just chill out in this elevator. Nice. We need to, okay, we need to walk around, like, in a, just okay, walk in circle. Just we've really timed this well. We'll get it next time. Stopped. Now we've entered the gungeon. I can get through the ceiling if you give me a hand. That's a cool game. Around the 
Yeah. I met the guy that can fix the elevator so I can skip a floor. Yeah. Yep. Uh oh. <laughs> oh my god. Continue. Yeah, well, uh... Oh. Oh, there's a guy up there. <laughs> that explains everything. <laughs> I, yeah, I, I just thought... That was the thing. I was like, this is really weird. How are they hitting me? And everything makes sense now. Wait, you really? Really? Come on, we can take you sure about that? Oh, we got him. My grenade did the work. I'm going in. Do you think that if this game was not called Resident Evil 6, if this was like Resident Evil something. Do you think that would have impacted the way people felt about this game? Because I also, I also get the sense that like the story was also a big part of people not liking it. Um, so I'm sure that, you know, that obviously doesn't change, but I just wonder if, because like, you know, what we played so far, like it obviously isn't the Resident Evil I would prefer, but it's not, I don't say it's bad at all. It's kind of like, it's fun, actually, like, especially in co-op. That's probably the other thing, is, like, five, I would imagine that it's preferred to play in co-op. Yeah. Sure. Okay. Yeah. 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 I mean, 4, I'll probably play again when it comes out. Just because it's been a few years, and it's like, okay, sure, I'll play it again. But 4 was certainly a game that it's like, I'm, I probably am okay. I don't know that I'd want to play it again. At least for a while. And I'm sure I'll feel the same way about this in, in 5. I think for me, 1... Oh, look at that. Uh, I think for, for me, one is just, it's so, uh, I know it so well now that I can finish that game in, like, a couple hours, uh, pretty easily. Um, so it's, you know, it's, it's to the point now where it's, like, I almost am just, like, on autopilot in that game. Think it's, think it's safe to go down? Yeah. Let's do it. I 
I got his face. Yeah. Yep. They don't call me uh, Headshot Kurt for nothing. <laughs> what? Yeah, well, either one. I'll let you get the door. Walk. HQ to Alpha. You can get out on the third floor. There's a balcony on the west side of the building. Get moving. <laughs> Alpha team, get out of there now. Preparations to bomb the building are complete. Planes have been scrambled. We don't want to be here when those birds show. Still in here. It's not personal. You know the mission takes priority. I'm relying on you, Cullen. It looked like there was a way over here, maybe. Oh, well. Cullen, you just keep letting me die. <laughs> I'll take some of the blame for the rocket launcher earlier, but only like 50% of it. Well, you're the other 50%. Started bombing. I don't care that we're still in here. It's not personal. You know the mission takes priority. Not here. Right here. This building isn't gonna last long. So you were saying that we're pretty close to the end of this mission. Um, how long do you think the next one would be? So, because I'm thinking we got, you know, maybe about... We usually are planning to go about two hours, so I'm wondering... I guess we, should, we could probably still play for the next one. That would take us a little over two hours. I don't... Are you... What are you doing? I'm, I'm stuck. Oh, here we go. Okay. Here we go. All right. Yeah, my character fell down. Yeah, I noticed that. <laughs> and how, do you remember how many missions are for each character, or each of the pathways? I want to say this is just a spitball from I remember. I think six. Okay. Okay. There you go. There it is. Look at you. You know, one of those deaths was your fault. Straight, like straight up your fault. <laughs> Oh, I didn't press square fast enough? Yeah, you didn't press square fast enough. <laughs> okay. So here's all our, our medals. Alright. Oh, here we go. Slightly increased firearm power. Melee will do. 
I got 9,200. Defense. I think I got mine. And then you have to equip them. Yeah, yeah, press them. Okay. All right, I'm good to go. So I think we'll do the next. We'll do the next mission. Yeah. Okay. So our plan is to do around two hours, maybe a little more sometimes. All depends. Uh, and I think what we're aiming for is Wednesday and Friday night at 9 p.m. Yep. Eastern time. And if not, it'll end up being uploaded to YouTube by the next morning. Yep. Yeah, so. And I think we're just going to export the archive to YouTube, yep. so. Hopefully all this works out well. Hopefully... Your voice did never drop at any point. I can just yell for the rest. It definitely shows it's still getting picked up, so I'm hoping, okay. hoping it's good. Listen up. The VSAA, our job is to rid the world of bioterrorism. The only way we're gonna do that is by sticking together. So this is, this is Nobody's expendable. Okay. Exactly. So Chris is having. Each and every one of you may be ready to die for our cause, but it's my job to make sure we all get through this alive. Sounds good. Oh, it's Finn. Sorry, sir. That no guy's a goner. I was thinking about... I'm trying to decide if I want to buy that or not. Star Wars on Blu-ray. It's only like 20 bucks. It's not bad for like the whole thing. For like the DVD, Blu-ray, and digital copy. Um, I'm trying to decide if I want to get it or not. Oh, yeah. Yeah. Not like in a big rush to rewatch it just yet. I, I can't remember the last time the I bought an OG. Yes, sir. I, 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 well, the thing that stops me is like I never really buy movies okay. like Blu rays, DVDs. I just, yes, I don't rewatch them enough to like warrant it, I guess. Um, One that I probably will buy is Tin Cloverfield Lane and The Witch. Uh, The Witch, just because that's probably my favorite movie of the year so far, and Cloverfield because I want to I want to see the, all the little extras and the commentary for it. Sure. Uh, I was listening to oh this is uh in the demo I remember so I played the demo for Resident Evil Six way back and I remember this part being in the demo yeah um but yeah I was listening to. A podcast where they had the director for Tin Cloverfield Ain't Lane on, uh, and it was very interesting. It was pretty eye-opening because they talked about like his history and everything that led up to uh, him directing this movie, and they were talking about recording the commentary. So I guess he and J.J. Abrams both did the commentary together. So that should lead to some very interesting stories. So I don't know, but at the same time, like I, I kind of. I kind of want to watch Star Wars again, so... Yeah, same. Um... I don't know, I'd like to. I'm also, like, curious what extras are in it. I, I think that would be probably be the deciding factor for me. Um... Because I think there's potential for, like, some pretty cool little extra add, like, tidbits in there. Maybe. But I'm also, like, not a huge, like, I'm not, like, a big Star Wars fan. I just kind of appreciate it. Speaking of, do you, uh, are you excited for the new teaser for Rogue One that's out tomorrow morning? Yeah. Yeah. Well, I mean, we, we're gonna have to see it at some point, so. Oh, I don't know. Nope. 
Nope. Oh, okay. <laughs> Look at his arm. Oh, it's a shield. Okay. Yeah. It takes place before. <laughs> you got him. Uh, it seems like Dark Forces and Rogue One are the most like parallels as Dark Forces and PlayStation games. Okay. Right. Well, like, I mean, the whole premise of this movie was from that opening scrawl of A New Hope. Exactly. There was, like, that one sentence, yeah. Yep. Yeah. He's the new species HQ was warning us about. Bullets don't even phase them. They say they're a normal class of enemy. Oh, I don't know. Well, you know. It's hard to tell. I'm not expecting Dark Force. It'd be pretty funny. <laughs> or just like a good little Easter egg or something in there. I'm a. Uh... I'm getting really hyped for that Jungle Book movie, for some reason. I, I was watching, uh, there was like another review I watched the other day that just came out for, for from like people that I, I generally trust, uh, and they both like were loving it, which really surprised me. And now I'm like at this point where it's like, oh dude, like this might actually be a really good movie. <laughs> and I love the Jungle Book, which I, so I might need to rewatch that before going it's been it's been years um oh here we go so i remember this part of the demo too because i think like the demo was like a short section from each of the three campaigns uh because i think it the chris part ended after this guy maybe i don't remember I'm sure you probably feel the same way, as we're both pretty big Metal Gear Solid fans. I always really appreciate a game that just comes up with, like, nonsense, uh, like, abbreviations for things. I mean, Metal Gear, of course, is real good at doing that. Um, so I, I'm, I love the BOWs and any other weird abbreviation that they just, yeah. Oh! I need your help. Obi Wan Kenobi. down. We're well, not down yet, but he's gonna be dead soon. Just a few minutes. Okay. Oh, 
Haha, I missed it. I'm trying to like be mindful because I'm sure it's gonna my mic's gonna pick that up. Especially, especially the analog stuff. So I'm trying to be mindful of it as best as I can. And I'm sure that's like putting me at a disadvantage. Sounds like you're, you're putting on your Metal Gear voice. <laughs> he did a good job, I thought. Yeah, Troy Baker's pretty good at what he does. There you go. What? Never mind. Yeah. Yeah. I thought he was fine. It's, you know. Controversy aside. <laughs> yeah. He was cool. I guess there was a couple of cool things about that game. I'm just following you. There are larger problems with that game. The char the characters are fine. There's some good. It pl it's the best playing Metal Gear. You remember in Metal Gear Solid 4, when you were in the uh, the hallway, the microwave hallway, and you just like were going nuts, because you're like, I'm, I gotta keep going, I gotta keep going, I gotta, yeah, I gotta keep tapping the buttons, and you just barely make it. That was great. Do you remember that part in Metal Gear Solid 4, where Raiden with one arm? Stops an entire. <laughs> Do you remember? <laughs> you remember like the fifty other parts in that game <laughs> that were just sheer strokes of genius? Yeah. Oh yeah, that is absolutely something I would play again. Easy. Yeah. I really appreciate that guy letting me reload and was like waiting for it. It's very, very nice of him. Uh, some skill points. I mean, there's nothing. What? Finn, get over here. I need you to blow this fence. I'm on it, sir. Setting charges now. Is that part in Metal Gear Solid 3? Do you remember when Metal Gear was like about story? Uh, <laughs> I'm just kidding now. That's just that, that, we should that, we should that, just that, we, that, we should. <laughs> <laughs> oh man. That's that's right. Cover him.
Yeah. I do. Revelations 2 gives me hope. Uh, because Revelations 2... That's the thing, like, I think if we did not get Revelations 2, and we were getting this a multiplayer shooter, you know, and we lived in a world where, like, Revelations 2 did not exist, then I would be kind of like, oh no. Um, but... That... That bomb is a little bit softened, knowing that Revelations 2 was like... That game demonstrated an understanding of what I like about Resident Evil, and what made the original Resident Evil so good. And not to say that it, you know, I wouldn't say that it stands up to like Resident Evil 1 or 2 or, or 3, uh, but it but it belongs there. And it certainly wasn't without issues, but it felt like to me it was... It's like they got it. They understood. And there was a willingness to go back to that vibe that you got you got for the first three games. And obviously, you know, it controlled pretty similar to how these games control. And there were other more modern additions, of course. But that was okay. Because, you know, story-wise and and just the horror... Like, there was there was an horror element to it. Especially in certain episodes. And, and the episodic nature, like, lends itself really well to that game. So... It was a cool boss fight, uh, some cool little twist, and it had the camp. And you know I love the camp. Oh, we got another, these medals. Serpent emblem. Alright. Oh. That was close. I like this environment. This is a cool, like, area. Okay. What's the status? Any casualties? I'll cross the bridge. Take on the bridge! The whole thing is blocked off! Okay, people. Getting to the wounded is priority one. Yeah. Uh, um, Colin, uh, excuse me, they're not zombies. They're BOWs. Alpha team, lay down suppressing fire from the flank. All snipers, form on my We go this way or um, so I think you literally like I jump and you like Oh okay. Yep, that sounds about right. <laughs> uh, just up ahead, but he's hurt bad. You gotta get him out. Copy that. I'll take point. Yeah. What do you think of, uh... Did you see that interview with him? What? I... What? I don't know what happened there. I don't think I realized I was actually controlling him. Well, now I know. Uh, but no, did you, uh... There was a recent interview with David Hayter where he commented on... The whole thing. I think so. That might be right. What do you? What do you? Do you have any thoughts on that? Cause he's like, I don't think highly of whatever. Yeah. Yeah. How are you, unfit? How's our injured friend? First aid. Alpha team, come in. There's an old T-42 tank moving on your position. Looks like it's had some modifications. And sounds like he probably wouldn't. Yeah. 
I don't know, maybe... I felt like, I don't know, his comments were weird, and, and I kind of felt like there was more to it than just what he was saying. I, I've i got always kind of... With everything we know, I, I always just kind of assumed that it was probably more on Konami. Also, that they probably played a role into it. Not saying that Kojima didn't, but... I'm gonna need a bigger gun. Captain, if you draw the tank out of position, I can take care of that truck. Alright, got him. Oh. Oh, oh. <laughs> yeah, I don't know if there's anything I can do to help you there. It's all good. I'll figure it out. I wish there was a way to steady my gun. Is there a way to like duck behind this cover here? Oh. Which guy are you trying to shoot? The guy with the big machine gun. Okay, you did get him. Got him. I'm gonna need a bigger gun. Captain, oh, you draw the tank out of position. I can take care of that truck. I don't really know how I'm supposed to draw the tank out of uh, its current position. Should I just like approach it slowly, get behind cover? He did it. Yeah. We both get to experience something new. Sniper. How you doing over there? Do you need to snipe somebody for you? I'll make my way through. You know what would be really cool? Is if like they made a car. Mm-hmm. That would be that would be cool. If they could, like, give Kratos a beard or something? I don't know, just, like, spitball in here. Maybe, like, an axe? Yeah. <laughs> yeah, if only. I'm on my way. Ladders down. Oh. 
Let me eat a tic tac. Hold on. All right, you get him. You get him. I've distracted him. All right. Yo. How do I do that? Is that D-pad? Uh, hold circle, and then you have like a little jump control option. Tanks! Fall back! Appreciate it! Fall back! Move in! Wait! Follow me! Good work. Good job. I'm on it! Good job. Now's no good. Good thing oh, I Oh boy. Okay. <laughs> Wait, yeah, wait for... Uh, I don't know. Cause... Oh, boy. Oh, is that, is that like single-player Doom or multiplayer? Hmm. They announced the season pass for that game earlier today. We're still about... A, we're, not, we're over a month out. That's a pretty early season pass announcement. Yeah, like DLC and season pass and all sorts of stuff, yeah. Um... I am... It's open beta, yeah. I think it's over here. Uh... I'm... I'm excited for that game. I'm excited for the single player of that game. I played the multiplayer last weekend. It was... It was cool. Uh, yeah, it was cool. Yeah, I don't know. I don't really play play multiplayer shooters enough to really have a good you know point of comparison. But I I definitely played Quake and Doom when I was young, and it you know I had a good time. But I'm much more I'm much more interested in the single player for that game and what it's gonna be. I hope it's good. Because I really don't know what to expect from it. I thought what they showed last year looked good at E3. Oh, Rage, man. Yeah. I played probably, like, most of it. But I kind of burned out. Um towards the end and didn't finish it um yeah i don't know i mean i thought what they showed of doom last year looked good enough to have me kind of excited for it uh but we'll see i was very disappointed with doom 3 so i don't know yeah yep xbox uh, it's actually really funny, like, I, because I bought an original Xbox, basically, I didn't buy it, but, um, I got one for Christmas because I wanted Halo 2 and I wanted to play Doom 3, uh, and both of those games disappointed me, so, <laughs> so that turned out great. I did, I did, that was basically where I played NFL 2K5, though. So, the best full game ever made. Um, played lots and lots of that. Yep. Yep. Oh. It's a good deal. There you go. Yeah. An Xbox One. The first one. Oh, it's, a, it's, it's a real old joke. <laughs> oh. That guy just blew up. Fight 
Run. What do you what do you think Resident Evil 7's gonna be? Captain, we've got a if you had to guess. Okay. What? What? Oh, okay. I think it's gonna be like uh, I do think it's gonna go back to that kind of camera angles thing. Um I don't know. I mean that's like my dream. Yeah, is fix if they that's the thing, like if they if they could walk out on stage at an event, put a logo of Resident Evil Seven on the screen, and they could just say Fix camera angles. And that would be it. That would be all I would need. Yeah, here's the here's the logo. We interact with Jerry Burkin. Okay. Jerry Burkin. You in Raccoon City. Yeah, that'd be that'd be pretty cool. How do you know that? I could see a Resident Evil seven coming in. Wait. Are you Chris? Yeah. I mean you well, I don't know. This is the like the anniversary year, so you would think that they would wanna like have a big Thing, and I'm sure that's why six, five, and four are all coming out this year, and you know the that other game. <laughs> um, so you would think they they would at least announce seven this year, because I don't think seven's coming out this year. What? Nothing. But. Oh man. Well, let's go ahead and finish the chapter because we started a little after nine so we're actually like just under 50 minutes or an hour 50. We're supposed to take out the guns, right? The turrets. Oh, Huckleberry Finn. Yeah. Uh huh. Oh, maybe. Well, that's fine. I got you. Yeah, it's cool. Uh, well, the twist of this game is that Chris is not real. Yeah, I don't, I don't know if we wanted to get into spoilers, you know, but it's out there now. Oh. <laughs> All right. We need to jump. All right. I did it. I win. Yep. Should I get back up there with you guys? I'm going to. Hey, Jake. <laughs> Just 
Can I swing across this pole right here? So I, sh I should be able to do that. That sounds. That seems like a seems like a thing they would do. It happens. Oh. This is not where I need to be. Busting in. You gotta watch out for yourself. time in the world. Oh, can I jump on it again? Nope. Not yet. Ah, uh, sometimes. Very low on health. Two down. Good job, Alpha. One gun left. There's another giant BOW closing in at your location. This is the one we want. Alpha, prepare to engage. Only one to go. Everyone into that underground pack. An underground passage is in there. Okay. I'm catching up. There you are. Yeah. Well, we, yeah. <laughs> In your, yeah. Just wait, yeah, just. Getting the good stuff out out of the way first, or the better stuff, we'll say. Cause this has been okay so far. Is 
What's up? I'm up the ladder. Oh. I guess I went up the other ladder. There's a whole lot of something. You should. I agree. Oh, I found the next anti-air thing. That's him. You still, uh, you're, you're over there, yeah. Yeah, I'm on the turn. Uh, you, you do what you do. You be you. No, don't get on that. Just don't die. Don't, just don't do that. <laughs> Alright. Oh jeez. Also very low on ammo. Oh. Oh. All right, let's make a roll. Don't go up the ladder. Yeah. Solid hit. Alpha, this is Echo. Take a look at that thing's back. That device is directly attached to the organs that are keeping it alive. I don't know how, but see if you can pull it out. No. Not a guy, also not an enemy. <laughs> yeah. Yeah. 
Alright, let's get up to a high spot. I'll jump on the BOW and just start punching them. Alright. Sounds good. So am I going to need to go and jump on him again? Alright. Yep. Go down. So I got it. Oh, it's a different one. Colin, we're gonna have to do this again. I do apologize. I don't know how much that's gonna pick up on the mic. Hopefully not too much. Yeah. Oh! Did you... You, you, well, you just missed what happened on my side. <laughs> Climb up the ladder. And then Jake just like, went to jump down and he knocked me off. Just kicked me in the face. <laughs> yeah? Did you get him? Nope. Way to go. I don't know, it was going like really fast. Hey, you've gotta like, you've gotta be pretty good. Got him? Look at you. Okay. Uh. Ooh. See if there's a, there's a little bit after this for this mission. All right, so we'll end after this though. Because we'll be a little bit over two hours. Be a good stopping point for today. Well, after the mission ends. Yeah. His dad is who I think it is, right? Okay. Wait, well, well. <laughs> Was going to name drop him? I'm sure it's out there. Okay, okay. Okay. What a crazy for letting him walk away. How many Three men have we lost to mercenaries like I'm him? Sure. It's not our problem. I think I think you're right. Side of the BSAA's mission. To fight bioterrorism, sir. I know what we're here for, Rocky. <laughs> Oh, really? I, I can't remember how. I remember playing through some sections. I, I know how the mission ends. Okay. So we actually might have a little bit more. Yeah, I might even have like just 10 minutes. I know we got a little bit more. Well, that's fine. We'll just end after this mission.
Okay, spread out. He's got a cool little area here. This place top to bottom. Are these people? I'm picking up life form readings. It's like they're in cocoons. Who's there? on the other side of this door where is the serpent Pierce, emblem Finn, you're with me uh, everyone else keeps searching out here hq one of the three of us are splitting off from the group I'm on my way heading further into the building okay see it got him nice good one thanks good thing i can count on you thanks good job Good job. Nice. Nice. Hey, hey. Appreciate it. What's up? Sorry. Nice. Thanks. All right. Good thing I can count on you. <laughs> That's what I'm talking about. Look at this. That's what I'm talking about. Look at that. This is Resident Evil. Oh man. You're me. Who's taking this? I don't I am. You waited too long. I can actually pick it up too. Oh, well you should probably take it then. We're good. Hunters. Yeah, they kind of look like that. Good. Can they one shot ya? One of them's hatching, sir. Cause the hunters sure can. Call it into HQ. Yeah, uh, yeah, they're a little uh, beefier, I guess. From what I remember, yeah. Oh. Hey, hey, have a tic tac. Skill points. Oh. Yeah. yeah. I think we both threw one. You gotta watch out.
<laughs> We're fine. the rest of the place but stay on your guard i i want to say we're <laughs> I don't know. That room where I was telling you about earlier seems really bogus, though. Because, like, the person kept, like, updating it, and the more and more they said, the more and more it was like, that doesn't seem real. Yeah. By E3. Sorry, I'm, I'm coming by. At some point in the next two months, we'll know. Yeah. So you do think it's coming out this fall? Oh, Absolutely. No question about it. Oh, look at this. Yep. Yep. Wong. Ada Wong. Sea virus. That must be what's creating those Jawavo. Yeah, I heard them saying something about that. What else did you hear? Maybe you should put your guns <laughs> down. Not until you give us a reason to. Neo Umbrella. Metal Gear. The organization supporting the guerrillas. Or at least I think that's what they were calling themselves. So the sea buyers came from them. And that's all I know. Oh, thank you. We appreciate your cooperation. Oh, do you? Finn. You know the voice actor for Chris? We're in charge of keeping her safe. Yes, sir. <laughs> <laughs> I think it's like Roger Craig and I. Have. I just remembered that. Will do. <laughs> Well, that's good. I think you did like, I think you did like Ezio. Found one of the staff. Oh, she's Turning joining us. Now. Uh, Come on, I'll show you a quick way. I think you did Ezio. Okay. Oh, here's a, here's a health and a, uh, bad serpent metal above that thing. Yeah. Sonic is always alive. Remember that time in Metal Gear Solid 3 when you're like walking in the river with Sonic? Do you remember good video games? What are we playing right now? A good video game. Maybe? I don't know. We'll. we'll that's uh, left up to, for us to decide later on, probably. We could stay here and kill all these guys. Yeah, but this is Resident Evil. We need to conserve ammo. There's a way out on the second floor. I suggest we take Right. I'm just waiting for you. Leroy! Uh, you, uh, you take your time. <laughs> <laughs> that was like half an ocean. Like, yeah, we're going down there. Your friends are having a hard time. Ma'am, please, just try to stay out of the way. Oh, jeez. Oh. <laughs> What's that? All right. <laughs> Uh oh. 
get outside through there. good one there's a there's a meaning behind it I don't remember because it's been like 10 years <laughs> um, <laughs> there is like a there there's some sort of meaning behind it I, but I don't I really don't remember because I it was something that they like talked about a long time ago I don't there was like a lot of like Latin uh, derived stuff, I think, early on, if I remember correctly. It's like the early like Versus 13 trailers were like, they would open one of these like quotes and uh, like all these like different like songs and stuff. It had like some really like interesting vibes. So there was a Noctis in Versus Yeah, that was the main character. But yeah, like those characters, except with, with like a couple exceptions, those characters have remained pretty much the same. Okay. Um, there's been some like, but there's been like some character designs that are different. Uh, like Noctis was slightly altered. Uh, one of the four, I think Prompto, um, he looks a good bit different. Uh, there was Stella, was the name of the girl. Um, she's now called Luna. And it appears that she might be a very different character than what she was. It's something we'll never know. Um, the the dad, Noctis' dad, looks a little bit different. Um, so there definitely was some changes, but but really, like, verse 13, it wasn't like it was a... You know, those characters were, yeah, were there. Like, that combat was pretty similar. You know, it's not totally different, at the very least. Yeah. I guess I always thought the project that was versus 13 was canceled, but then they just kind of reused like some aspects. We're almost out. Yeah. I didn't hold it together much of, like, the story. Yes, sir. Like, how much the character It seems like a good deal. It's the same. There probably has been changes. There definitely has been changes. And there was a there was definitely a rumor that it was canceled. In some form. Um, but they then like revived it or something. It's, it's really hard to, to know for sure. Um, but yeah, it's not like, I mean, it is pretty much with, you know, some exceptions. I'm sure some of the story beats are different and, and maybe some of the things that happen are, are a little bit different. I'm sure that's, that just changes as things to do in development, but. Yeah, those characters and everything, like, it, their main goals are pretty much the same. It's just, I think it's mostly it, the, the name change is to kind of get it away from 13, um, but also naming it 15 is significant in its own reasons. But it, it's definitely... Uh, if you go back, I think, I want to say 2009, 2000, well, no, you, maybe it was 2011, there was a point where they had like a, it was like a six minute gameplay trailer for Versus 13. And that's back when like, because one of the things that is different is in Versus 13, you'd be able to switch between characters and play as all the different party members. Whereas 15, you're just controlling Noctis. And there's a gameplay trailer showing that and showing all the different gameplay styles. It was really, really cool. Uh, but if you go back and watch that, there's some really, like, fascinating things in there. Some of which have carried over, some of which haven't. And there's, uh, Ada doing what, doing what she does. Thanks for the escort. Here's something to remember me by. Oh, man.
poor Finn. It's a really opportune moment for that door to open. And that's it. Chapter 2 for Chris's campaign. It's always one up in me. Oh, all right. Well, this has been fun. So we're going to we're going to do this again Friday night 9 p.m. hopefully. That's hopefully the plan. Uh probably go for 2 hours there, maybe a little over like we did today. But Thanks for watching, and again, this will be archived, usually the morning after, probably, of the streams. Um, Colin, this is our uh, two and a half hours into Resident Evil 6. Yep. We're making our way through. It's been okay so far. Feeling okay about it. Yeah. yeah. So we'll reconvene. You feel no. I feel like this is pretty much what I expected. Yeah. So we'll... We'll reconvene in, in two days' time, and we'll continue our journey into the madness, into the evil that is resident in all of us, or something. I don't know. We'll see you next time. You will, you will stand by me. Yep. <laughs>